with Apple's announcement of the M1 laptops, I wanted to test out the MacBook Air for a week to see if the M1 chip really makes a difference and whether or not it's worth picking up for students. With my testing, I took a look at multitasking and performance capabilities, battery life, and using creative apps like Premiere Pro and Photoshop. While there are a lot of options on the market right now for the best laptop for college students, I can safely say that the 2020 MacBook Air with the M1 chip might be the best laptop for college students out there. And here are my reasons. First off, the form factor and portability of the MacBook Air is incomparable to any other laptop on the market. Not only is it one of the thinnest laptops Apple makes, but it's also one of the most lightweight, making it the most portable laptop that can still pack a punch. The design, form, and portability of the MacBook Air 2020 wins in each category. With the new M1 chips, I can definitely say that the battery life is significantly improved. For day-to-day -day usage, this laptop will not only last you an entire day, but can even last up to two days on a single charge. However, as I was using software-intensive apps such as Adobe Premiere Pro or Lightroom, I did notice a significant drain on battery performance as these apps require a lot of power. However, from my testing, it has never heated up, nor does it make noise with extensive use. Now let's talk about the M1 chip. This is honestly the highlight of this entire laptop and probably the only reason worth upgrading. While the performance of native apps such as Photos, Notes, Safari, iMovie, GarageBand, things like that, it has gotten significantly better. However, it hasn't had the best integration with apps that I use the most such as Adobe Premiere Pro, and I don't think that's going to be something we see until early next year when Adobe rolls out with their own compatible software. However, that being said, for the majority of the apps that you're going to be using on the MacBook Air, it's going to perform blazingly fast, if not faster than most of the laptops out there. Now, one of the biggest questions I've been asked is who is this laptop for? Well, as I said from the beginning, this is honestly one of the best laptops for college students out there. Not only is it perfectly capable of tackling notes, attending Zoom meetings, watching YouTube videos, creating presentations, editing photos or videos, this MacBook Air can handle it all. In addition to that, for the first time, I can highly recommend the MacBook Air as I think it's going to be the best bang for buck laptop on the market. Not only does it provide significant value for students out there, but it also comes in at a cost of less than $1,000. Compared to any other laptop at that price point, the MacBook Air could outperform it in just about every single category. In addition to that, I think this laptop is going to be future-proof for the next four years at least. So if you're a student on the market for a laptop, I can definitely recommend the MacBook Air as it's not only going to be the best value laptop, but the most portable option as well. However, if you're still on the border of whether or not you should upgrade to the Pro, here are a couple of thoughts. For me personally, if I wasn't a content creator who took photos and edited videos for a living, I would get the MacBook Air. It is so nice to use and makes my work more efficient and organized given the small size and ease of use. I can literally throw this in a tote bag, a backpack, or just carry it under my arms and know that I'm able to get all the work I need to done efficiently without also having to bring my charger. The specs of this laptop are also equally as impressive. It's got a 13.3 inch display, eight or 16 gigs of RAM available, 256 or 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, Touch ID and a 720p webcam make this laptop a full powerhouse. However, I haven't been the most satisfied with its performance in 4K video editing and exporting. The amount of time it took me to export a four minute video took over 15 minutes, which would have been a breeze on my MacBook Pro. Given that this is the most base model of the laptop, I could definitely max it out with 16 gigs of RAM. I still don't think it would outperform my MacBook Pro. Until new software rolls out for these apps that I use the most, I'm never really going to get the full potential of what the M1 chip is capable of in the MacBook Air. If you're on the border of which laptop to get, genuinely ask yourself a couple of these questions. Number one, what do you need a laptop for? Are you going to be using it for daily operations such as surfing the web, watching content, taking notes and attending Zoom meetings? Then the MacBook Air is perfectly capable of accomplishing all that and much more. On the other hand, if you're a type of person who is editing 4K video files, editing raw photos, creating graphics and after effects, unfortunately, the MacBook Air isn't going to give you the best performance possible and you'd be much better off with upgrading to the Pro. Overall, while it might not be the best device for me as a content creator, I've been genuinely impressed with how well this MacBook Air has performed. If you're a student, for the first time, I can highly recommend picking up the MacBook Air as the best value laptop on the market. This is easily a device that will last you your entire time in college and the M1 definitely contributes to that. So guys, those are my final thoughts on the new MacBook Air 2020. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down below and I will try to answer some questions from my day-to-day -day usage. Unfortunately, this isn't a laptop I see myself keeping. However, it is a great option for a lot of people out there and it can also be a great gift for this upcoming holiday season. If you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you get notified of all the new videos that are coming out. And as always folks, stay gold. Peace. That's a wrap, baby.